Christy. Hey, what's up? I'm doing another story time. So welcome back or welcome here if you are brand new. This takes place back in high school, of course. I mean, I have a ton of stories that have happened in college, but sometimes you kind of have to let them simmer if it involves other people you know and stuff, you know? So I tell most of my stories back from high school just so you can like spare the drama. That's the thing, I don't know if you guys understand about making story times is you have to kind of decide whether or not you're going to ever speak again to some of the people involved or not and if you want to like expose things that you've done that you probably could have gotten in trouble for if they just happened if they happened years ago though you're good so that's kind of like my reasoning when I decide whether or not to tell a story or when to tell a story by the way I have my hair like this because I'm totally trying to show off this alien I think it's super cute I just bought this shirt yesterday but you guys have all seen it now so I can like put my hair back to normal. There's this girl in the story, we're gonna give her a fake name. I think she watches my videos and if she's watching this, like, hey girl, we're still cool. I hope that you don't mind I'm sharing this story, but I'm not gonna use your real name. So we're gonna call her Belle, just because I really want to watch Beauty and the Beast and I've been thinking about it a lot lately. If you guys ever have requests for like fake names in my story times, drop them down below because I feel like I'm not very creative when I come up with names and I have a lot of stories. So I've used a lot of names. I never want to accidentally repeat one. At this time, I was playing water polo. If you guys have seen my other videos, you know that I played for like three seasons. I did it my sophomore year of high school, then over the summer, and then my junior year. So this was my junior year when I had the water polo coach from hell. I'll link that if you guys haven't seen it. And this girl on the team, Belle, she was like my best friend. We met that year through water polo. She was a grade below me, but we were still like really close. Like we got along really well. She was a little bit older for her grade, so we were like kind of the same age. And to be honest, I didn't know much about her outside of being on the water polo team, which obviously meant I spent a lot of time with her because we had practice almost every single day, sometimes in the mornings, and we would go to games and stuff, so we were very close, but I had never hung out with her outside of school. I didn't know much about her home life, etc. I didn't really, like, know, know her other than things that she had told me, you know what I'm saying? And I have been known to trust people way too easily, and I mean way too easily. I am very naive when it comes to situations. I naturally assume the best. I naturally take people's word for everything. So I never think that people are lying to me or there's more to the story, like honestly ever. Sometimes, like I've said in other videos, I get a gut feeling, but I choose to ignore it. But this time I honestly didn't get a gut feeling because this person was my friend. I never thought that she would do something like this. And we were at a game one day. Being on JV, we had to watch Varsity play first, so we'd have to sit there for, I don't know, a couple hours, and they didn't really make us watch the game necessarily, but we had to be there. So a lot of the time we'd be in the locker room, putting on sunscreen, just like on our phones hanging out, and so Belle and I were in the locker room. I believe this was right around the time of my birthday, actually, so I think we were just talking about my birthday plans and just talking about guys and like other stupid stuff that you talk about in high school and she had this cell phone with her like an iPhone and she was holding it and then whenever anyone would walk into the locker room she would sort of like set it down and try to hide it and I didn't take notice to that until I found out what I did later and I became involved and like a suspect in this like whole crime thing and then when people would leave the locker room, she would kind of like ease up and act normal again. And when she was holding the phone, I noticed that she kept trying to put in a passcode and it wasn't working. Like, it just kept rejecting her. And honestly, I probably should have thought that was weird since like I was assuming that was her phone, but I really didn't. And so finally I asked her about it and she was just like, yeah, I forgot my password. I got locked out of my phone. It sucks. And so I was like, hey, I can help you out because... A couple of years ago, this was like a long time ago now, my family, we used to go to this beach house every summer. I guess we still kind of do. And so people rent it out. So no one actually technically lives there. It's in Michigan and it's a really cool house. There's like a lot of different rooms. So if you leave something there, there's really no way you're going to get it back. And anyways, one summer I found an iPod touch under one of the beds and finders keepers. Like there was no way I could have returned it to anyone because who knows who left it there when. It wasn't anyone in my family, so someone who would stay there previously. So anyways, I kept the iPod and I had to Google and like figure out how to reboot it so I could like use it because there was a password on it and I didn't know the password. So I was familiar with how to restart phones or like iPod touches like that, like iPhones, because you plug it into your laptop, you like press some buttons and then I don't really know. It's not that complicated. I figured out how to do that last time. So I was like, hey dude, if you want me to, I can help you out. Like 
I did it to my old iPod Touch. Like, I could do it to your phone if you really needed me to. Like, hey, I get it. I have really terrible memory. Sometimes I forget my password. Not really, but I just, like, told her that, I think, because I didn't want her to feel bad about herself for forgetting, because I was like, oh, man, that sucks. Like, how is she supposed to get into her phone, you know? So she's like, oh, my gosh, that would be amazing. Thank you so much, Allie. And I was like, of course, Belle, anything for you. So she gives me the phone, and before she gives it to me, she's like, oh, wait, I want to turn it off. And I was like, okay. So she turns it off. I take it, I think I had it in my pocket or like, I don't know, just like the side of my swimsuit or something. And then when I went over to like get ready to go in the water for the game, I put it in my bag and the phone was turned off. So some time goes by. And then when Varsity gets out of the water, like they're done with their game and it's our turn to play, we have some like spare time, I guess. I don't really know how much time it was, but we didn't just like directly go into the water. They would kind of like you know, regroup and then we would start our games. So Varsity is getting ready to leave, they're packing up. And this one girl on the team, I honestly never got to know her. I didn't know her real name. And after this happened, I don't think she wanted to get to know me because like I got involved somehow through this girl, Belle. So she's walking around like, hey guys, have you seen my phone? My phone's missing, my phone was stolen out of my bag. And she's describing the phone. And it is the same exact description of the phone that I have in my bag that Belle gave to me. But of course, I don't put two and two together because I think that it's Belle's cell phone. And so I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I haven't seen that phone, blah, blah, blah. Also keep in mind that iPhones are pretty common. So if she's like, hey, it's a black iPhone 5, I'm not gonna think, oh, I have a black iPhone 5 or oh, Belle has a black iPhone 5. I'm just going to think, okay, like a lot of people have that phone. I'll let you know if I see one on the floor or something. So she ended up not being able to find her phone. She was looking for a while. I don't know when she ended up leaving, but we played our game for JV and then I went home. My mom came to pick me up and I went home. Around this time, my parents, they didn't let me have my phone at night. I mentioned this in other videos, my parents were really strict growing up, so they would take my phone every night at like 8 or 9 p.m. and then I wouldn't be able to get it back until the morning when I was ready for school because they wanted me to get proper sleep and I have really serious insomnia, but that's not even related to technology. Like I could be laying in bed with the lights off and taking a sleeping pill and then like have nothing to do and I still sometimes won't be able to fall asleep. But anyways, that was like their method of trying to help me get proper sleep, I guess, and I don't really understand it. So. Every night I would have to put my electronics in their room. So that means my iPod Touch, my phone, my laptop, etc. But I still had Belle's phone because I was going to try to take care of it for her. And I think I was charging it because when I turned it on, like I couldn't because it pretty much died or something. So when I was charging it, like it turned back on. And at this point, it had a bunch of missed calls. And so it was like past nine o'clock, so I turned in all my other electronics and I'm in my bathroom and it, the phone's being blown up by someone's parent, like a mom is calling, like mom, this is mom, the contact. So I think that it's Belle's mom and she has called so many times that I was like, okay, maybe I should just answer. So I pick up the phone and this lady starts screaming at me like, you stole my daughter's phone. You took it out of her bag at the varsity water polo game. You know, I am tracking you right now. Like I have to find my iPhone services on. Now that you turned on the phone, I know exactly where you are. And I was just like, no, my this is my friend's phone. I, I don't know what you're talking about, but it slowly started coming together. Like obviously Belle stole this phone out of this chick's backpack at the game. And I didn't really want to believe that because she was my friend but it was pretty obvious and I have been known in situations like this to throw myself under the bus in order to help out my friends. Like I'm a very loyal person in relationships and friendships. Like I would do anything for people that I care about. So naturally I did not throw her under the bus at all. I kind of was willing to take the blame. I still kept saying, I didn't steal this phone. I didn't steal this phone, but I kind of made up a story that like wasn't going to get Belle in trouble necessarily because she was like, who's your friend, blah, blah, blah. And I like named someone who wasn't on the water polo team at all. I was just like, my friend Becky or something like that. And she was like, Becky who? I'm gonna look her up. And she was just really angry about it. But then I think the mom started to feel like, okay, if I don't start respecting this girl and like calming down a little bit, she might just keep the phone to herself and not work with me here and give it back. But of course I was going to give it back. like. I didn't try to intentionally steal this phone at all. So she starts calming down and I'm like, I'm sorry, like uh, my friend Becky found the phone and she gave it to me and like I was going to give it to Lost and Found because again, I was trying to stand up for my friend who clearly stole this phone and wanted me to help her break into it. So she's like, okay, can you leave it at the office tomorrow? Like the high school I went to, like drop it off at the office. And I was like, yeah, of course. At this point, my mom had woken up, like walked down the hallway and she saw me on a phone. So she was really confused. Like your phone's in my room room and I had been 
caught doing some things like this not stealing phones at all but since my parents were so strict about technology there was times where i had the ipod touches and they didn't know and i would like text on those at night because i mean i was a teenager in high school like i wanted to have a life i wanted to have friends i didn't want to have to turn in my phone at 8 p.m on a friday night you know so i had been sneaky in the past with things like that and so my mom i think thought that i had bought another phone just to get around their little like rule of turning in my phone at night so my mom was like oh, what are you doing? What's going on? So she starts trying to talk to me while I'm on the phone with somebody else, which is already like my biggest pet peeve. Not to mention, I'm on the phone with someone whose daughter's phone has been stolen, which I have. So it's already a really sketchy situation. I'm trying to like get myself out of it. So my mom's super confused, trying to have a conversation with me while I'm on the phone. I'm like, mom, I can't talk. And she's just like, no, whose phone is that? And then the lady on the phone's like, okay, since you didn't steal the phone, then you should be able to drop it off at the office, right? Just picking an attitude with me. I'm like, yes, I will drop it off at the office first thing in the morning. And so we agreed on a certain time. I believe it was like, I don't know, eight in the morning or something. But I felt like she was going to trick me. Like she was gonna be there when I got there and have the principal there and like try to get me in some sort of trouble. So I ended up going way earlier. And then I get off the phone, my mom's like, what's going on? And she's like interrogating me. And so I explained to her, but I tried to like make it again, seem as if my friend was innocent. Like my friend didn't intentionally steal this phone because I still didn't even want to believe that, you know? And so my mom is not stupid though. So she's like, okay, your friend obviously stole the phone. And so I was still telling my mom, this girl's name was Becky because my mom had met Belle and I didn't want my mom to not like Belle because of this. So I was like, yeah, this girl Becky, I don't know, I barely know her. So my mom's just like, I don't really want you hanging out with Becky because it sounds like she's a thief and that she stole this. And I was still trying to say like, oh no, like she was just confused and she gave it to me but again Becky wasn't even her real name so it was like fine so my mom takes the phone I put it in her room for the night and then in the morning like I told the mom on the stolen phone I was going to drop it off at the office so I go there in the morning I go way earlier than I told the mom I was going to drop it off because I felt like she was gonna set me up or something and I just wanted to kind of drop the whole situation like leave the phone there and be done with it so I went at like 7 in the morning or like 7 30 I dropped it off in the office and I left and then the phone was obviously returned because the water polo team like the coaches actually sent out an email to like everyone on the team like talking about this and then it was traced back to Belle eventually so she ended up quitting slash sort of being kicked off the team it was never really acknowledged like no one on the team or the coaches like no one really said hey Belle's being kicked off the team for stealing this phone but just something happened after that like the coach talked to her and of course she lied about it but it was just a really uncomfortable situation I'm sure for her and for me because I like low-key knew it happened but I just wanted to act oblivious like she didn't steal the phone because like that's a terrible thing to do and I didn't want to be involved or like friends with someone who was doing that and going around stealing phones because what would she have stolen my phone like you can't trust people who are doing that you know so she was basically kicked off the team or something of that nature and I continued on with the season until I ended up quitting because the coach that year sucked if you guys have seen my water polo coach from hell story time but just a little side note going along with this story time and the girl Belle there was other red flags like I should have known that she was sort of I guess a kleptomaniac because one time we were in the locker room and people would leave their stuff in there like when we were at home practices or whatever whatever and that means their shorts their bags etc a lot of the time girls would just wear like cute little hollister booty shorts yoga pants shorts over their water polo suits because that was just like more convenient you don't need to put on a shirt because you're covered there you're just not covered there you know so she let me borrow these little yoga pant shorts that she had I actually still have them because I never gave them back because I just kind of lost contact with her they were brown and they had like camo print at the top and they were really cute and I was like oh where'd you get these did you get these at styles for less and she was just kind of like yeah yeah and then I noticed like five seconds later that on the butt it said six flags so obviously she did not get them at Styles for Less and you think you would remember if you got them at Six Flags you know what I'm saying I mean it says Six Flags right there so she clearly stole that out of someone's backpack or whatever in the locker room like that day or like very recently because the way she was acting was just weird and she didn't really want me leaving the locker room with them on so no one would see me. In conclusion, don't steal you guys and don't be so naive. Maybe you don't offer up to do favors that could be sketchy like that because you may get yourself involved in somewhat of a crime by accident and I'm just lucky that I didn't get in like serious trouble for that. Like the coach never ended up having to talk to me. I think that they knew that it wasn't my fault because the coach that 
Bell actually ended up talking to was our old coach, who was not the coach from Mel. He was like the really cool coach, and he knew me personally. And I think he knew that I would never do that. So I was kind of off the hook. Like, no one actually thought that I was like aware of that situation. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to leave a big thumbs up. Leave a comment if you've ever had a friend who's done something like that. I've dealt with friends in the past who've like stolen from me and it's a really bad feeling because that's someone that you trust. I know this girl didn't steal from me personally, but I still felt like I was kind of tricked into like helping her steal, which really sucks because I never would have done that. Like if I knew what was going on. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Follow my social media to get to know me outside of YouTube. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later, alligators. Bye.